Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the spell check options available in Emacs. You'll see on the upper left hand corner, I have a buffer open called spelling.txt. This is the file we're going to use for most of our spell checking. In the lower left hand corner, I have a file called spelling.c. This is a C file where I've spelled the uh, word name as noom. So we're going to use that as a program to spell check. And then on the right hand side, I have a markdown buffer called spelling.markdown, where I have the things that we're going to cover in today's lesson. I'll include links to those in the description below in case you want to follow along that way. You can download them from GitHub. Okay, so let's get started. So if we look at the upper left hand corner here, if we look at this file, we have um, a lot of spelling errors. We have this made up name, Dedonius. Uh, He's a good speller. And then we have Billy Wood, if he could, you notice it loops down, but as hard as he trid, he couldn't spell very well. Uh, he went to the spelling doctor, but couldn't figure out what his problem was. Uh, this is some seriously bed spelling. Now I included bed because bed is misspelled, but there are limitations with this Emacs spell checker because bed is a word. It's not going to pick up on that. Uh, but then we have, but this, okay, I would change all the occurrences of would if I could. Okay. So we've got a lot of spelling errors here. So one thing I can do is I can do alt X to run a command and I can type in I spell buffer. Now, keep in mind, you have to have I spell installed to do this. And I'll talk about how you install iSpell near the end of this lesson in case you need to know how to in install it. At least I'll talk about it for a Chromebook. All right, so I'm going to hit enter here and it's going to give me the choices here. Now, Dodonius, I already, uh, let, let me spell that a little bit differently because when I was going through and warming up, I actually uh, said accept this in the dictionary. So it's not picking up on that. But if I change the name slightly, it will. Okay, uh, but um, so I can go through, I can press 0, 1, 2, or 3. If I press 3, um, it's going to fix it. Now I can go through, I can press uh, 0, 1, 2. I'm going to press 1 because I want C-U-L-D to be could. So that changes that. Uh, I can press 4 for this one because I want trid to be tried. Okay, I can go through and press 3 for this one because I want spell, spell to be spell. This one I'm going to press 8 because I want V-E-R-R-Y to be very. Okay, and then it's going to go down. All right, so this next one, spelling, I'm going to press 2 for spelling. Dactor, I'm going to press 1 for doctor. Uh, it only gives me one option here, which is the one I want, so I'm going to press 0. Uh, and then I can press 0 again because we only give one option. Uh, zero again, because we only have one option. Seriously, zero again, only one option. Uh, and then for this one, I press two for spelling. Uh, this, I want that to be that, so I'm going to press four. And would, I want to press three. And then occurrences, I'd press uh, zero. Again, I'd press three for would, and then one for could. Okay, and we've gone through and we fixed the spelling errors. Now I'm going to do Alt X and revert my changes here. So we'll go back to the spelling errors. Uh, sorry, revert buffer. That's what I meant to type. Okay, I'm going to say yes, and all those spelling errors are going to come back. Now, if I spelled this did y onius, did y onius as a, as a name, or did did yonius? Um, let's save that. And now if I run the I spell buffer here, uh, it's going to come up with a correction. Now I can choose to insert, insert this into my dictionary. I've already inserted Didonius into my dictionary. Now I can insert it with I and that'll insert it with a uppercase D or I can insert it with U and that would just insert it with a lowercase D. But since this is a proper name, I'll insert it with I. Okay, so now it inserts Dionius, uh, and then we go back to our spelling. Now, one thing, if I want to quit out of my spelling, I can do Control G, and that's going to uh, 
Now it's going to ask me, my personal dictionary is modified. Do I want to save that? Uh, I'm going to say no, because I don't want Didionius in there. So I'm going to say no. Uh, and then it quits out of I spell. But we can run I spell continue. We hit tab. Uh, we can do continue here. We'll see, hit tab, it gives you the options. Let's see. So I'm going to do continue and hit enter. And now it's going to go right back to my spelling check. I can also do um, Alt X, or I can do actually Control G to get out of here, and then do Alt Spell X and I spell, and we have kill I spell. So it's not going to even run in the background. So, okay, so I spell process is now killed. So I can get out of that. Um, another thing I can do is if I want to check just a particular region, I could do Control Shift 2 to start highlighting the region or Control Space and go highlight my region and then do alt x and then i spell and region and it would go through and start uh, checking the region so i could change this to spelling uh, i could change this to doctor uh, and i i'm basically just changing this sentence i'll show you and we go through and so we've gone through and we've changed that sentence now i'm going to go and actually revert the buffer so go back to my bad spelling and save it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we can also use I spell to check a program uh, because like printf is going to be something. If we ch just check that with I spell, um, printf would come up as you know, being spelled wrong. But if I go down, let me do control X O to move down to this buffer down below the C program, you'll say, uh, you know, printf would, you know, it, like I said, it would throw an error, but we might want to check like the the comments in the string. So in this case, I have a string. My noom is Tim. It should say my name is Tim. So I want to check the string. So I can run a command. I can do I spell comments and strings, and I'm going to run that, and it's going to now say, okay, uh, noom is not. Uh, a word, so we'll give you some suggestions. I'm going to pick two for name, and that's run through, and it's ignored the printf. It's ignored the hashtag include uh, studio.h and those kind of things. So it's only checked uh, either the comments that we have or the strings. Now I could show you this again. Let's uh, go up here. Let's make a comment and say something like this is a, a comment. I'll spell that wrong. All right. And then again, I can run I spell comments and, and strings and it says, hey, uh, you probably meant to spell comment. So I could say this is a comment. OK, I fix that. So I'm going to say that that's that file is fixed. Uh, actually, that, mm, now let me let me refix this because we're going to use something with fly spell in a moment. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. Let me say this is messed up again. OK, um, another thing we can do. Let me go back to this top buffer here and um we'll see here i reverted the changes so i reverted this region so but i know I, i'm like i'm looking at this spelling spelling I, I know i spelled that wrong so what i can do is do alt shift four or alt, alt dollar sign really alt uh, dollar sign and i can just check the word and then go oh i wanted to spell the word as spelling so i can hit two and that fixes that word. So it just checks the one word. But you know, I want to revert my changes here. Go back. Uh, revert my buffer. I keep doing that. Revert buffer. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start. Yes, I want I want those spelling errors back so we can check them with fly spell. Okay, I'm going to do I spell kill I spell here. And I killed the I spell process. And um, what I'm going to do now is check fly spell or, or run fly spell mode, which is checking spelling on the fly, right? Hence the word fly. All right. Uh, so I'm going to just do Alt X and then fly spell mode. Okay. And so it's starting to run. Now, if I start to go, it's going to start to show me, oh, as I move down these lines, oh, there's a bunch of spelling errors here as I go. So you'll see. I hope you can see this on the video. If it's spelled wrong more than once, like spelling, um, it's going to underline it in yellow. If it's only spelled incorrectly once, it's going to underline it in red. So I could say um, I 
made a, let's do comment. Okay, so it's like, hey, comment's wrong. Let's let's underline that. So that's um, fly spell mode. Now I can turn that off by just doing fly spell mode like that. And now it's disabled. The, the red and the yellow goes away. And I can actually go down to the lower buffer here and I can do something similar called fly spell PROG or for programming mode. And I can do Alt X and do fly spell uh, prog mode. And as we move, let's, we see that Noom now here is underlined in red because it's it knows that it's spelled incorrectly. Now to turn off fly spell programming mode, we also we actually do Alt X and then just type fly spell mode. We don't actually type fly spell programming mode. Okay, so that turns it off. <clears throat> okay, um, we can also do fly spell for a buffer. So uh, I can do Control X O to move over here, Control X O to move up top. I can do Alt X and then type in fly spell buffer. And it's going to run through and it's, you see, it's highlighted all the spelling errors in red. Okay. Um, there are, in fact, a lot of, let me turn off fly spell mode here. Okay. Uh, nope, I got to turn it off. Let's fly spell mode. Okay, so now I disabled it. Um, you can also do, let's do uh, control space to mark a region here. And we'll mark this region here. And I'll do Alt X and then fly spell. And then I want to hit tab to see what I can do. And there's a bunch of different things I can do. I can do autocorrect word. I can do um, all kinds of things. Go to next error, fly spell word. But I want to do fly spell region, so I'm going to do that. And it's going to go through and it highlights all the stuff in the region. Now, if I run fly spell mode and then turn it off, then it turns it off for the region. Okay. Um, now you can also do um, fly spell word or autocorrect word. But one other cool thing you can do with Flyspell before I show you that is let's say I know this word is wrong. I can click on here and then click with the middle button of my mouse. So the wheel and that, that messed up. Let me uh, undo that. I'll try that again. Nope. Okay. That's not working. Sorry. Let me try Uh, that's not working for some reason. Okay, it was working before. Um, you know why it's not working? Because I haven't enabled fly spell mode. So let me let me go here and revert the buffer here because I turned it off. Uh, okay, so now let me go back. Let me turn on fly spell mode here. And let me go here and click on it. Okay, so now that fly spell mode is on, it's working. Now I can scroll down and... Uh, insert a different word so I can do spelling. Okay. And changes it to spelling. I can do the same thing here. Let's click on that. Okay. I want could it. Okay. So that's the middle mouse button, which is the, the wheel. If you click on the wheel, you can go and that's yeah, still doing that. Uh, okay. So maybe it's going to go, Oh, here are the words. Also, if you have a word that you want to enter that uh, is like a proper name, you can click save word there. Okay. That one's, as you can see, it's a little finicky. Um, anyway, so let's revert the buffer back to our spelling errors there. Okay, so we reverted the buffer. Another thing I can do with Flyspell Autocorrect World is um, I can do, uh, let's see, Alt X Flyspell Mode. Let's turn that on. Uh, it's enabled now in the current buffer. I can do Control Alt I. And it cycles through, every time I do control Alt i it cycles through these suggestions on the bottom, which is, it's basically running fly spell autocorrect world, okay? So I can cycle through those with control i So I can go, uh, is it that word? No, I want spelling, okay? Let's go forward to the next word, control alt i is it actor? No, it's doctor, okay? Let's go forward here. I know this word is wrong. Let's do control alt i ah okay so control alt i that's fly spell auto correct world word that's pretty helpful anyways there's a, there's a lot of different things you can do 
with iSpell and Flyspell. Uh, you can check them out um, if I want to. Let me turn off Flyspell here. Okay, so it's disabled. Now, if I go iSpell, type in iSpell, uh, and I can see, oh, I can do I spell buffer, I can change the dictionary, I can do comment and strings, I can do complete word interior fragment. Uh, this one, message, messages for email, minor mode region, buffer, check version, complete word, continue, minor check. And so we've only covered a small amount. Now, if I wanna instead look at fly spell, I have all these ones I can do with fly spell as well. Okay, final thing before I end the video, I did mention, let me just get down to one buffer here. I did mention I was going to show you how to install iSpell, which you need iSpell for, uh, to use iSpell, obviously, and to use FlySpell. Now, this is how I do it on a Chromebook. So I'm going to do Alt-X. Oops, I didn't want to do Alt-X. Sorry, Control-X1. Let me do that. Uh, I'm going to do Alt-X and then hit then open up a terminal, okay, uh, a bash terminal. All I do to install, let me go to my home directory, is type sudo apt install i spell, okay? And I'm gonna hit enter, it's already installed for me, so it's not gonna install anything, but, um, so that's how you install it on a Chromebook, very easily. It just goes through sudo apt install i spell. Make sure you spell that correctly, Otherwise, you're going to get uh, file not found or another error. But that's pretty much it for uh, some of the spelling options that I want to cover in Emacs. As you can see, there's tons of options. I believe there's another one called A spell. I didn't cover that, uh, so you can explore that one if you want. But I spell and fly spell are pretty good uh, for checking for errors in your spelling. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.